Thank you both for coming. I take it you are Prince Elaine, commander of the Liberation Army and rightful heir to Cornea's throne. Indeed I am. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, my king. I am no king. Merely Gilbert for now. My coronation must wait until Castle Soldraga is ours once more. Prince Gilbert, then. I've word that you request our aid? Just so. Ever since my father's demise in the tragic campaign against Zenoira, I have devoted myself to but one cause. To gather what survivors clung to life and fight onward for the past, present, and future of Drakenholt. Yet the battle which saw us win back Bomrate claimed many of our finest men, and morale has suffered accordingly. Hence you seek reinforcements. Correct. It wounds my pride to admit it, but I would suffer any injury before I see my people suffer worse. We march to vanquish Galerius and free all nations of Fevrith alike, including Drakenhold. We will join you. <laughs> You've quite the grand vision for yourself, seeking to unify the entire continent. And yet that vision is the beacon which draws soldiers to your ranks and fuels your army's unceasing advance. Tis but a dream for now. One that will remain as such, unless we can recapture your palace. Sorry to interrupt this little war council. I've got word from one of our scouts. What is it? Zenoira approaches the Colosseum, and they bring a battalion of some size with them. <laughs> How large, exactly? Bit over four times our head count, if memory serves me right. That's absurd! What shall we do, Prince Kilbert? Unfortunate as it may be, we lack the time necessary for any sort of elaborate preparation. We'll have to make do with what personnel we have. The catapults around our Colosseum walls will prove vital as well. And scant as our defenses are, it seems I have no choice but to sortie myself. We halt their advance together. Phew, that's most of it cleared out. Oh, uh... You here to buy something? I was just about to close up for the day. Would you mind if I looked around first? I'll only be a minute. Be my guest. Though I can't promise I've got much left to look at. This one here is gorgeous. Oh, that old thing? I'll let you have it on the cheap if you want. End of day sale. Are you sure? It's all yours. For only five mil. That's a bit beyond my budget. <laughs> I'm only teasing. Cute girl comes walking into my stall and I just can't help myself. I was actually looking to offload the whole set. How about a nice even 500? Wow. What is it? Behind you. She's huge. Oh! You two ever hear of manners? <laughs> well, I'll take that over the usual. Most people split the second they see me coming. Can I help you with something? Sure can. See, I'm new in town, looking for the Colosseum, but everyone I ask goes all wide-eyed and runs off. There is a Colosseum here. There is, but I believe they've put competitions on hold until matters in the region improve. <laughs> I hear the Prince is always out for spare steel, though. Why not try there if you're looking for work? I'm not looking. Prince might not be a bad idea, though. I'll see what I can squeeze out of him. Oh, and... Thanks. What a woman. Onward, men. We surround what remains of Drakenhold's meager forces, and finish them here and now. We'll crush these rats in their own nest, and the rebels who've joined them too. Prince Gilbert, there you are. Ah, Leia. I was merely reminiscing for a moment. 
It feels scarcely appropriate to say, given the situation we find ourselves in. But I find it difficult to believe we prepare to fight arm in arm with the Cornian royal family. I understand the emotion, Your Highness. After all, our kingdoms were locked in fierce rivalry for what seemed like centuries. When Cornea fell to Galerius, my father hailed it as a precursor to our long-awaited ascendance. And the only reason he granted Virginia asylum was so that he could marry her off to my brother Ludwig. All part of some grand scheme to annex Cornea after he'd thwarted Zenoira. But we both know how the war effort went. My father lost his life in the battle. And Ludwig remains missing even now. <sighs> ascendance indeed. Your Highness, I... What? Is that it? Things were just getting good. Behind me. Identify yourself this instant! Name's Amalia. You wanna try me, girl? Cause I've been itching for a fight all day long. Tui. <laughs> Can you stand, Leia? I'm not finished yet. Amalia, was it? State your purpose here. Easy. I'm not gonna eat you. I heard there's a Colosseum here. Fancy old place where all the strongest warriors can test themselves. Was hoping you'd open it back up again. I can do that. Under one condition. A legion of Zenoiran soldiers descends on this city as we speak. Should you join the battle to defend it, and should we emerge with our lives, I would be more than glad to reopen the Colosseum. Deal. Just now, I'm gonna hold you to it. I suggest we think ahead. In service of the royal family, what would you ask? Very well. Allow me. I suggest we think ahead. The day will be ours. Your will shall be done. We march! They will know what hit them. I'm up. Yes, sir. Time is at hand. To me. Let me hit something. Smart. All done. We stand at our destination. Gaze upon the face of your demise. There's always more to learn.
On my honor as a knight! I've not chosen my grave yet. We march. Ready. I shall hold nothing back. For the liberation. Allow me. Come. I've not chosen my grave yet. Gaze upon the face of your demise. A trivial undertaking. I'll not fail you. As you wish. Sound tactics never fail. Nothing. Just leave it to Lex. Take notes, Lex. As expected. Let's see what you've got. Is that the best you've got? Your call. Gotcha. You face me. Stronger than ever. The time is at hand. Onward. Your villainy ends here. Let's get this over with. My go, is it? Sure. Come then. What would you ask? Your will shall be done. Your villainy ends here. I'll not fail you.
What would you ask? Come then. You impressed? I'll need to study this further. The time is at hand. Your villainy ends here. I've need of a rest. Awaiting your command. I suggest we think ahead. You face me. My legs grow heavy. We march. Sure thing. Ready. Hope you're paying me more for this. To forge a brighter dawn for Fevrith. How's that for good? I shall surpass Ludwig yet. Never doubt a desert kid. Your villainy ends here. I must never yield. Tempered in the cruel flame I of need war. Rest. Let me hit something. What would you ask? I've not chosen my grave yet. I'll not fail you. Very well. On it. Heading out. Your orders, if you would. <laughs> the time is at hand. Enough standing around. I go, is it? Going. <clears throat> Just say the word. <clears throat> Handle that pretty well. I have my doubts. may prove perilous.
awaiting your command. <clears throat> A trivial undertaking. Don't keep me- A toast? My lance grows ever sharper. What would you ask? As you wish. Let me hit something. Allow me. My go, is it? Sure. Come. Fatigue has struck. Well? Rush them good. Let me at him. Need something? Sure, sure. Sure thing. You face me. I won't hold you back. Whenever you need me. Your orders, if you would. Okay. Let's keep going. The Dragon God smiles upon me. Your villainy ends here. Victory grows ever closer. How shall I proceed? Just say the word. You've got it. You face me. Little bit of tricorn pride for you. We march. The path is set. Finally! Didn't even break a sweat! Truly a stunning victory, my fellow Prince. And it could never have been possible without your timely aid. Tales of your Liberation Army shall echo through a freed Fevrith for generations to come. I'm certain of it. A word, Gilbert. Thank you for everything. 
I plan to leave Drakenhold and accompany Elaine on his quest to crush Zenoira. I won't be needing your protection anymore. I have no objection. Though I imagine he may. You seem all too likely to give our fine prince here an unceasing migraine. Nonsense! I soothe his worries, not inflict them. Ah, I see how it is. You're just nervous you'll get lonely in my absence. Go on, you can admit it. <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. As for you, Leia, I'd like you to lend your sword to their cause as well. Are you certain, Your Highness? How else would I be sure Virginia is behaving? Go. Look after her for me. <sighs> All allowed. And you, Gilbert? What will you do now? I shall move to bolster our ranks and sharpen our blades for the impending siege of Castle Soldraga. We dealt Zenoira a heavy blow this day. Yet it was merely one cobble on the much larger path toward Drakenhold's revival. The greatest battle lies still ahead. And we have much to prepare before it arrives. Then we'll meet again ere our siege of Soldraga. Indeed. In the meantime, I shall await you at Fort Shusa, to the southwest of the castle. Sorry to butt in, little prince. I think you're forgetting something. Ah, yes. The reopening of the Colosseum. Forgive me the query, Lady Amalia. But you carry the strength of an entire company of knights solely on your shoulders. Do you not intend to put that to use for the sake of this nation? Mm, not really, no. Perhaps a better question is, why do you so strongly wish to see the Colosseum renewed? Well, it's kind of embarrassing to actually say it. But thinking about the fighters it'll bring, about the battles and the bloodshed and the brutality, it sets my mind racing. You seek a test of strength, then? Yeah, that's not it. Hmm? Huh? Well, you doing it or not? I've no intention of going back on my word. The Colosseum's doors will open once more. Good kid. And hey, if you want me that bad, you know where to find me. Beat me in a fight, and I'm all yours. We're ready to depart whenever you give the word, Your Highness. Good. But I've been wondering, have either of you seen Berengaria? Uh, I'll find her. Who knows? Our hopes of slaying the Prince have been well and truly foiled. And the blame lies squarely on your neck, Berengaria. This neck is yours to throttle no longer. And Zenoira's woes are sweet music to my ear. But not as sweet as your dying breath will be. Ren! Travis, what are you doing here? What impeccable timing. Enough of this little performance, General. Cut the boy down and return to my side. Is he telling the truth? Have you been working with them? I'd never. Not anymore. You've left yourself wide open, fool! <laughs> no! Such a simple woman you are. That you'd shield your dear brother was an all too predictable outcome. You're nothing. No threat to anyone now. If you won't obey my choice, force will have to suffice. <laughs> 